What if every religion, every faith, even every mythology was real in modern day? It's Kevin Hearn's Hounded, the Iron Druid Chronicles. What's up? And you're watching Paperback Worship here on Nerdy Blurb TV, a show where we recommend and review books for your convenience and our pleasure. Today is Hounded by Kevin Hearn. This is the first book in the Iron Druid Chronicles series. This is probably one of my all-time favorite books, if not series, ever. Let's think of a universe where if every religion and every mythology that comes with it actually existed, how would that world and how would that pantheon work. This book covers that so well in such a charming way. I absolutely love it. Let's get into the synopsis. Atticus O'Sullivan, last of the druids, lives peacefully in Arizona, running an occult bookshop and shape-shifting in his spare time to hunt with his Irish wolfhound. That's pretty dope. His neighbors and customers think that this handsome, tattooed Irish dude is about 21 years old. Guessing he's probably not, right? When actually, this guy is 21 centuries year old. Dang, son! Not to mention, he draws his power from the earth, possesses a sharp wit and wields an even sharper magical sword known as Fragara the Answerer. Freaking nailed it! Unfortunately, a very angry Celtic god wants that sword and he's hounded. Oh snap, that's the name of the book, bro. And he's hounded Atticus for centuries. Now, the determined deity has tracked him down and Atticus will need his all his power, plus the help of a seductive, oh, ooh, a seductive goddess of death. His vampire and werewolf team of attorneys, yeah, it's cool. A bartender possessed by a Hindu witch, and some good old fashioned luck of the Irish to kick some Celtic arse and deliver himself from evil. Sick! Now hearing a synopsis like that, how could you not want to read this book? I mean, the world building in general, you heard it, vampires, werewolves, Hindu goddesses, and Irish seductive goddesses who all live together in today's world, in a modern day. That's really cool to me because the, when we talk about world building, it's, it's not necessarily a new one, it's just today's world. But it's the universe that Kevin Hearn has created that makes it so fascinating. It's every religious character and every myth mythological story, creatures, so on and so forth in today's world. How would they act? You heard it, werewolves and vampires as lawyers. I mean, what? I think one of the, the best things about this book is just how he makes each and every one of them a character in in its own. The character development and the character just connectivity when when it comes to a reader is is just so poignant in this book because Kevin Hearn knows how to write who people are, I think. And one of my favorite characters in this book is actually Atticus's the main character of this book, his dog Oberon. Yeah. It's crazy awesome. Atticus and his dog have a magical link that through the powers that Atticus has, he can talk through his thoughts to his dog and his dog can talk back to him. It sounds really weird, but really honestly, it's really, it's it's so unique. It's so cool. I love just the, the imagination that Kevin Hearn has. You would have to have an amazing imagination like Kevin Hearn has to write something like this because it, it would take so much research to find out what these myths and religious histories are and then to meld them together and and have them interact with each other. It's it's so amazing. Let's talk about the capability that Kevin Hearn has to write an awesome book. The man is a god. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I am so blown away by the style, his, his writing style. It feels like I'm sitting down and having a conversation with him. It feels so personable. It feels like it feels like a friend that, that you're reading a book with. There's so many other great books out there that I, I wouldn't say is like this, but it, it is in that same genre, like Dresden Files and American Gods. I absolutely love this book because it feels unique. It feels fresh. It's so light and lighthearted and so much fun because of how 
witty it is. It said on the back of the book how sharp-witted it is. That is an understatement. There's so many pop culture references in this book to make it such a fun time reading. Plus, there's also really serious overtones such as like murder and, and mystery and, and all of that kind of stuff. Putting aside the fact that just the mere staggering research that had to have been put into this book and not to mention the entire series that he has in the Iron Druid Chronicles, it's just a fun time. I will say this about the book. The book assumes that you already know about Irish mythology, and I don't. And I, and I, there were times where I was lost, but I mean, it was simply put the book down and Google it, and that was it. If you don't know any Irish mythology, just like myself when I first read this book, don't worry, still pick up this book because you'll walk away after the book feeling like you do know some. And, and that's one of my favorite parts about it. It made me excited to learn more. If you love mythology in general, pick this book up. I'm definitely reading the entire series. In fact, I've already started. I, I absolutely love it. Kevin Hearn is quickly becoming one of my favorite writers because of just how much charm comes with his books and his writing. And when I learned that he had so many other books after this one that deals with even more mythology, even expanding on the same mythology that I may have read in the first book, I was really excited because I love that kind of stuff. That's very much up my alley when it comes to uh, lore and fables and all of that kind of stuff. I definitely would recommend this book for sure. And when it comes to a review, I would definitely give it a four out of five stars. One of the best that I've read definitely for sure this year. This book was highly recommended to me by one of my friends, Kelsey. Thank you so much. It was, it's probably going to be one of my favorite books of all time. If any of you want to check this out, go to any of your local bookstores, go check it out online. And I listened to the audiobook on half of this, and I gotta tell you, I'm gonna listen to the rest of them that way because Luke Daniels is probably one of the best audio bookers I've ever listened to. It's so much fun, he's so talented. And it, it's it's on Audible, like it, it's so easily accessible. Go check it out. If you wanna look at an in-depth review of this book, go check out my Goodreads. It's listed down below. Say hi, like we love it when people say hi, whether it's in the comments down in this video or even just at Goodreads. But tell us, have you read this book? What did you think about it? And not to mention, if you like nerdy things in general, whether that be books, board games, comic books, movies, and more, subscribe to our channel because we try to make a lot of content that we really love doing. So be sure to hit us up with that subscribe button and comment to us. We'd love to hear from you guys. Until next time, just keep on reading.